You're not giving me anything here? First of all, if I were to forgive your obligations, believe it or not, I'd be hurting you. Hurting me? Okay, this is me. The way I raise my own kids. It's not what you give them. It's how you teach them to get things for themselves. Just making sure you're real. <laughs> you know, I don't know you yet, Mr. Shore, but I get this feeling I'm gonna like you. Uh, may I ask, you spoke of honoring obligations as if it's a good thing. Indeed I did. Then why do you and other credit card companies refer to the customers who pay off their debts promptly as deadbeats? Well, that's not a term I would personally use. No, cause you're swell, but your company uses a term like a mantra. Here's the thing. Let me tell you a little about me and why I chose to represent Prominence Bank. Like any other credit card service, it's a business, sure, but it is a service. We help people who are short of cash, help them make their rent so they don't get thrown out on the street, help them make a car payment so they can get to work, help them buy Christmas presents for their children during tough times. You're like Santa Claus. I can see you and I need to go out and shoot some ducks together. Do you explain all the credit terms to your customers? Well, they're on the back of every application. Like this, with a tiny print? I have a JD and an MBA from Harvard, and even I can't make heads nor tails of this deception and fraud. It's deception and fraud. Well, look who found his tongue. And you, Mr. Shore, you're a hoot, that's what. Is it true your company actually targets people with bad credit ratings? Well, we have an extremely complex marketing strategy, one that I'd be happy to take some time and explain to you. That's okay. I think I've got it. You find people in dire straits and market directly to them uh, with the hope of forming a lifelong relationship. I had a former client who kind of operated his business the same way. Really? What line of work was he in? He sold heroin. <laughs> My friend, I am not a man who offends easily. So I could call you a loan shark and you'd be fine. When you charge your customers 30% interest, you're a loan shark. That term implies criminal conduct. It's not criminal. Because your parasitic lobbyists have penetrated both aisles of Congress. The credit card industry is more profitable than McDonald's, Microsoft, and Walmart. You've got yourself a multi-billion dollar racket going, Mr. Palmer. Given that we are bigger than Walmart or McDonald's or Microsoft, we enjoy some security. And potential lawsuits like this, we have an expression in Texas, Mr. Shore, you're all hat and no cattle. 